Former Republican Rick Wilson explained that former President Donald Trump will likely bring down the Republican Party in the Iowa caucuses with one debate. That is, if he's willing to do one. Former Republican Chair Michael Steele substituted for the MSNBC Sunday Night Crew and asked Wilson what the other Republican candidates have to do to have any hope in the early primary and caucus states. None of them have any hope until they're willing to confront the fact that they have to call out, as Matt, Dowd, you, many other people pointed, unless you call out the orange cancer metastasizing inside of the Republican Party that continues to dominate every aspect of it unless you break him, you cannot help to win against him, Wilson began. He will always outperform all of these people on the debate stage. He will always outperform them in being egregious and cruel and terrible and transgressive. So, with candidates like Governor Ron DeSantis, Republican Florida, who doesn't have a personality, Wilson explained, going up against Trump isn't going to be an option for him. Look, if Android Americans were a demo, I'm sure he'd do much better, but they're not, Wilson said. He has got a sense right now that he was the golden child of the establishment, the National Review guys loved him. The money in Wall Street loved him. All the establishment donors loved him. But he can't campaign. He is a terrible candidate. Trump is going to eat them all alive on that stage. None of them will be able to swing at him and connect, because they will always pull back. The one he thought might work is former New Jersey Governor Kais Christie, but it's because his only purpose is to attack Trump. He's not looking to make headway in a Republican primary. The problem with Christie and people such as former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, Wilson said, is they aren't going to have the poll numbers to make it onto the debate stage. Ron DeSantis is a coward and will not attack Trump directly, Wilson continued. He does not have the skill to do it. Nikki, Haley, and Tim Scott, you know, they have their fans, but they are not there to run for president running for VP, both of them. You know, it's 2016 all over again. We're caught in a time loop.